this is Jessica with Dining Traveler and welcome to my kitchen. Bienvenidos a mi cocina. Now we're all at home and we're cooking more and I've taken this time to do some of the recipes that I've learned to make growing up and also some of the ones that I've learned during my travels and of course I want to start with Puerto Rico and one of my favorite things to eat when I go to my mom's house or when I go back to the island are alcapurrias. Alcapurrias are these delicious fried treats, we call them frituras, and uh, they're made with a dough with a masa of jautia, which is a root vegetable, and green banana, and filled with some type of meat. And for those of you who do not have a Puerto Rican supermarket or big uh, Puerto Rican population, what I do recommend is going to Asian supermarkets. So I've been able to find these ingredients to include the banana leaves in um, Vietnamese or Korean uh, supermarkets. So that's what I recommend. So we're gonna start with making the picadillo, which is the meat filling. There's different ways that you can fill your capurrias. Today we're gonna do ground pork, but you can do ground beef. You can do even corned beef, which is my mom's favorite and the favorite of a lot of Puerto Ricans. You can do stewed crab, which is my favorite, but in this economy, we're not gonna do that. And if you're vegan, you can even try a Beyond Meat um, type product and just put the traditional seasoning. So we're gonna start with around a pound of ground pork, a little tomato sauce, around a one third to half a cup of sofrito. I'm Puerto Rican, so I don't have exact measurements. A small onion and a little sazon because we make everything with sazon in Puerto Rico. Just like to work in the sazon just because the achiote, the annatto seed is so strong. Just like lay it out here for a bit. And I would just say it usually takes like nice 10 minutes to, to cook depending on your range. We have a gas range, which I love. And I like to add the, the tomato sauce and the sofrito when it's just a bit more cooked and it releases a little bit of the fat and just makes Mix it adhere just a little bit better. I'm gonna add the sofrito. You see now it's loosened up a little bit. So the sofrito, this one my mom made for me because I'm spoiled like that, but you can buy it at any supermarket. Um, and um, they have it like in the, usually I prefer the frozen one um, in, the Goy in the Goya section, a lot of supermarkets, even a lot of mainstream supermarkets do offer the, um, the frozen sofrito in like the Hispanic food section. Like the uh, Calle 13 song says, todas las boricuas cocinan con salsa de tomate. And this is probably like a good two tablespoons. But just make sure that you get the meat in the tiniest pieces possible because it has to fit in the masa. And if you have these big chunks of ground beef or ground corn beef, it just does not work as well. Some people love olives, some don't. Um, for example, my mom is not a fan of them in the in the meat and the picadillo. I like to just add a little bit. I feel like it adds a little bit of flavor, but don't, if you're not an olive person, don't feel obliged um, to add it to the meat. So while the picadillo cooks, we can start on our masa, on our dough. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel the jautilla. The skin is pretty thick, so you wanna use a knife to remove that and we're gonna peel the green bananas, which they can be a, real, a little bit tough, so my tip is to put them under hot water and go ahead and peel those. Then we're gonna use two tablespoons of achiote oil. That's also another ingredient you can find pretty easily in Hispanics and or Asian supermarkets. That's called an anato. You can also, if they don't know, achiote is anato. And a packet of sazon, just to give it a nice little flavor. And I always like to add a little dash of adobo as well.
Then a little bit of hot water. This is pretty hot. You can see the steam popping up and then I just reduce the heat just a little bit. And you see it just starts coming off a little bit easier. So we're gonna add a little bit of sazon, just a packet, and then we will add the achiote oil for that nice color. Midway, you wanna open up la masa, make sure that all the ingredients are mixing in well. And I also um, like to do this with my banana leaves, just put them in a little bit of heat. Um, I wash them first, but I, I don't know, this gives me a more peace of mind, plus my aunts used to do this too, and it just sterilize them and also bring a little bit of flavor. I like to put a little oil on my banana leaf, um, and once you see, once it goes into the frying pan, you'll see why we use the banana leaf is a nice effect. So we put some masa. I also like to put a little bit of the hot oil on the top so it can start cooking comfortably. Loosen it up a little bit on the bottom and there you go. Just make sure that the um, oil you're cooking with is very, very hot when you start. Hello. Then you make the the cast the meat, you know, <laughs> you get the meat and you make you could make it anything you want, carne, you could say pork, uh regular ground beef yeah. or mm -hmm. even if you don't have anything else, corned beef. Yeah, that's what I was I was I was saying in the video that um that corned beef is your favorite. <laughs> it, it, they're good. They're good. <laughs> and it's good if you're in a budget yeah. too. <laughs> Yeah, for the mezcla. How do you say mezcla? The masa? The, I, I, I call it the dough. I mean, but it's not a dough, right? Oh, yeah. The, yeah, the, the dough. You, yeah, you put some, a little bit of uh, seasoning, you know, like uh, adobo, sazón, and that's about it. Okay, mommy. Well, thank you. I, I uh, tell everybody that you're my cooking hotline. So if I'm making Puerto, Rique, making Puerto Rican food, I call you. I call you like 10 times. Te quiero mucho. Tú le escuchas, te quiero Te quiero mucho. Mira, abuela dijo que yo también. Adiós. 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 Bye. So, this is how I make my alcapurrias. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you try it, please tell us about it in the comments and now i am going to indulge because the best way to eat an alcapurria is straight off the fryer mm.